Hey guys, this is a happy Monday. It feels so weird. I do not like this time change. I cannot deal with the time change. It's stupid. It really is stupid. I feel so screwed up, like in the head, more than I ever ever felt in my entire life, just from the freaking hour of time change. How do you guys feel from this? It feels weird. I would rather go back. So let's just kind of, I want to go to sleep and wait until, you know, November and then we can just flip backwards and then I'll be good because then it'll be October. So, alright, um, mysticamber.com, put my name in, R-Y-A-N-E, in all caps, you get 10% off and we are going to go right back into, what were we doing, the old craft today. Alright, so it gets even better and better and better and better and better. I love it. Alright, so... Yeah, still, I'm still, like, really screwed up in the head from this time change. I don't know why. All right, Bourne said that the meats were held, weather permitting, in the grounds of a large co uh, country house, now in woods, and a local spring near the village where Monica English lived. That sounds like my house. <laughs> you guys see that meme of Hecate? She uh, decided to move closer to uh, her work with the house in the woods. Um, I will have a picture for you guys, and I'll show you guys, and it's hilarious. So just remember that meme. Alright, now, if it was too wet or too cold, the coven used a large barn on a farm ground belonging to one of its members. Well, that would be nice. That would be really nice to actually be able to go outside and do your, you know, your, your rights, and, you know, here, when I do it, it's like, okay, I have people watching me just the people that are here and but it's like don't watch you know it's it's sacred so i do it inside mostly all right so um inside rituals pre were presided over by the lord and the lady that sounds too wicca to me sitting on chairs on a raised platform overlooking overlooking the circle i mean that sounds very there's a very uh, like a dionysian sexy-ish sexual um overtone maybe going on now, the lady wore a shimmering silver silver robe, silver, yeah, silver robe, tied with a plated belt of the same material and a large sil and large silver earrings. Now, unlike the Dionysian <laughs> nature of the rites um, at brick and wood, the rituals of the Norfolk coven were often conducted in total silence, and there was also a lot of meditation. Okay, I can totally get that, because, you know, there's not a lot of spoken words in traditional crafts, so, I mean, that's Cornwall, where I'm coming from with that. Alright, so, when she was brought in, um, Lo Lo Lois, Bourne was told, quote, Silence is the ultimate and final initiation. The gods are silent. Everything comes out of silence. The true bliss of experience is without words. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, it resonates with me, but I don't have a, really a comment on that one. Any kind of, you know, no no comments. <laughs> Alright, so Monica English, um, whose maiden name was Monica Mary Barnes, hmm, was um, quite a prominent and well-known figure in the locality, and also um, a further afield both as a socialite and as a professional artist and sculptor. Now, in um, a 1960s booklet listing, um, you know, local artists, she was described as, quote, a painter of two worlds. One is a world of myth and legend, people with the gods, warriors, and ghosts of the past, and springs from a study of anthropology, folklore, and primitive religions. I like that. I really like that. It's, it's got some to it, a ring. Um, the other is the... Uh, tr rule reality of landscape and animals, particularly horses whose uh, beauty and pride of movement fascinate her. I can understand that because the way a horse moves is just beautiful, So, and I love animals, so that's interesting. Now, the booklet also says that Monica English was a self-trained artist and had um, mounted 17 exhibitions, three at art galleries in London and at St. Martin's Art College. That's pretty good for being a self-taught artist. I mean, I like that. All right, so other exhibitions uh, were planned for the future in Norfolk and Suffolk. Now, she had also appeared on television and had been interviewed by national and local newspapers and magazines. Now, in 1968, she had an expedi expedi exhibition 
<laughs> in an art gallery near the Royal Palace of Hampton Court on the Three River Thames, and this was um, reported in the court circular section of the Times newspaper. That would be really interesting to see that kind of work. I, I, I wonder. I mean, I, I should probably Google that and see what kind of work she did. I like that. So it is also said that in the booklet that she had her own private gallery at home exhibiting her artwork that was open to the public. That would be, you would have to have a really, yeah, be very trusting <laughs> in who you invite to your home. So the booklet added that Monica English was married with one son, and her hobbies were listed as gardening, horse riding, and collecting um, gramophone records of international folk music. That's where that got me. That's where she pulled my interest, because of the folk music, and especially on records. So, now in an, ad an address um, in a Norfolk village near King's Lynn, um, and a telephone number uh, was provided, but there was no mention of Monica English's interest in witchcraft. So there was nothing. She kept it all in. She kept it a secret. Which is really good and good for her. All good, you know. Nice that she was able to do that. So I'm really curious as to what happens with her next. But yeah, I do. I like the whole self-taught artist thing. That's pretty interesting. And the silence thing, I understand that too. When you're like meditating and you're really tapping into like the ethereal realm you don't feel anything, you don't feel your body, you just feel this, um, I don't know how to explain it, you feel something, but it's not of the body, it's nothing to do with your body. So, I mean, I thought that was pretty interesting and pretty cool, so. So, I mean, that makes sense, it does, right? I mean, you know, silence. <coughs> All right. Yeah, it's just it's such an interesting book. Children of Cain, a field study of modern traditional witches in different, f you know, fractions and different, you know, regions. And it's, it's very confusing, but once you get through the book, it's easy. It's like just, you have to understand what regional witchcraft is, so it just makes it, yeah, a lot easier. Okay. All right, um, Gustavo, candles are going. Um, Lupe, coffee talk. Um, yeah, candles are going for you too. Again, <laughs> I am. I had to order one, so the one that we are thinking of, I had to order that one. So, oh come on, you uh, YouTube. So yeah, how was your guys' weekend? Mine was surprisingly good. Everything just kind of went okay. It was weird. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. Now it's snowing today and it's cold. Now oh, come on. There we go. So yeah, now it's cold and snowy and crappy. But I love it. I love the cold. Why is this not loading for me? I know I have comments. There we go. Alright. Come on. <laughs> this is so messed up. So yeah, I've started baking again because of the, all the stress. And I've just uh, way too much baking and um, yeah, I've got to really calm down with the sweets and everything because I'm getting a little chubby. Just a little. <laughs> little bit I'm like wow cherry tomato Kim thank you for letting me know about that last night because I had no idea what you were talking about when you put the tomato I was like huh yeah I do I look like a little cherry tomato a plump one <laughs> I feel like it <laughs> cherry tomato oh no I'd probably be a big boy tomato Oh, those are even bigger. They look more like my face. Ah. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm not going live today because it is so windy and rainy and sleet and I don't want to be cut off and I don't want you guys to get cut off from your um, reading. <laughs> if the comments will ever load. Hello. I'm like, hello. No, I will wait on the page. I don't want to exit. Okay, so uh, people that are on my um, my um, Patreon page, um, instead of terror Ouija sessions, we are going to do um, tarot and spell work. I have yet to change that because I am just I just don't want a Ouija. <laughs> I just I don't want to. It's just sim very simple. I don't want to. Sheila Nagel, hi. I just subscribed again since I did get a new computer. My other computer died on me. Another interesting video. I'm sure there's a typo. Sorry about that. Oh, you're fine. Oh my god, you remember my my, my uh, grammar. <laughs> I love you so much. I've missed you. I'm so glad that you're back. Witchy boy, hi you. I love how so many people who start as Wiccan, <laughs> I love that, and eventually move into traditional craft or anything else, lol. Yeah, I, people, I, you are not fulfilled. There's nothing that doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't fulfill me to the extent that traditional craft would. But I have to admit, if I put my spiritual thoughts aside, most of the Wiccans I've met are really nice and caring people. I just hope that they eventually wake up. Exactly. Exactly. It just I, the the whole threefold law. You know, you're gonna get slapped in the face three times if you do something wrong. I mean, people really think that stuff. They really, honestly do, and it's really weird. I'm like, what? Um, yeah, I've noticed a lot of Wiccans. Um, when you start, I mean, everybody starts. I think they have to start out with Wicca. I don't know. I, I did. Uh, well, no, I didn't. But then it led to Wicca. So, but then I was like, okay, this is a crock. So I had to, yeah. I was like, nope, not for me. Can't do it. Oh, hopefully they will. Huh. Gustavo, good video. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The horse. I love the horse. Yes, horse power. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Norse Moon. Hello. How are you? Witchy boy. Um, Ira? Ira? Hi. Hi, 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 hi. Huh. Um. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The Illuminati. No, I don't believe in the Illuminati, guys. I just think it's ridiculous. All right, careless. Hi, hi, love. Warrior girl. Hi, you. River of Souls. Hi, Tina J. Hi, my love. How are you? I hope you're well. Um. Let's see. Who else? Natural spirit. It has been so long. How are you? I can't believe how long it's been, and I, I love it. Skyly Sullivan. Hi, my love. I love you. It is so cool. Um, warrior girl, witchy boy. Sheila Nagel, Gustavo, Kim. Hi guys! I love you guys so much. You guys are amazing. Smoky Shake. Alright. I don't know what's going on with the loading. The loading of the comments. They're being ridiculous, but anyways. Um, so yeah, we will go more on with the old craft today. Tomorrow. <laughs> That's weird. That was really strange. But yeah, um, I don't know, but this just totally floored me yesterday. I was so excited. Uh, so I um, tweeted a picture to Kit uh, Shapiro, um, Eartha Kit's daughter. Um, so I don't know if, I highly doubt that you're going to, Kit, you'll get into 14 minutes of my video, but thank you. Um, that meant the world to me. Just, you know, one little sentence, you know, I tweeted the album to her, you know. Because it's been really tough with my grandpa being, you know, gone. And it's like, what, in the, but Eartha Kitt, you know, she is just, her music is just, 
and what she stands for and her values and you know the authenticity within her voice and just everything that you know she stands for and uh, she does and still does from the other side literally it's amazing so I mean I was just like wow fanboy hard because you guys know how much I love Eartha but yes I do I love Eartha to death she's amazing Alright guys, I will see you tomorrow. I hope you guys have a good day. Please be safe and stay healthy. And remember, go up there and get your stuff. Get your 10% off. So all my love, all the way from Venus. Oh my god, I feel like crap today. All the way back down. And I love you all very much. So thank you guys for all of your amazing comments. All of it. I love you guys with all my heart. And I'll see you all tomorrow.